Hello and welcome to the Christmas Everyday Club. But today we're going to look at Steve Lund Christmas movies. Steve Lund has been in a total of eight Christmas movies. Are you a fan of Steve's? If so, let us know in the comments below. Let us know your favourite Christmas movie that you've seen Steve Lund in. And let's get into this list. Best Christmas Party Ever, which came out in 2014. A party planner is tasked with mentoring her boss's nephew, who is set to take over the business. Did you know you had a bit of goose? When Nick is hanging the lighted garland over the bar, the number of hooks keep changing. Next up we have Christmas Incorporated, which came out in 2015. Riley lands herself a new job via a case of mistaken identity, and her first assignment is to accompany her new boss on a trip to save a failing toy factory. Did you know you had a bit of trivia? William Young gets stopped by a member of the law enforcement. When Mr Young calls him officer, the reply is, that's sheriff. Yet the patrol car is boldly emblazoned Dover police. Bit of goose, the main characters have exactly the same conversation word for word twice about the female Leeds hometown and they're not having anyone past Thanksgiving in two different locations within five minutes of each other. Did you notice that guys? I don't think I've seen that movie, but I might check it out. Next up, The Christmas Cottage, which came out in 2017. While helping to organise her best friend's Christmas wedding, a successful designer reconnects with an old flame. And did you know a bit of trivia? Wallower Lake Lodge, where Ava and Mason's wedding is held in Oregon, exists in real life. However, the filming of this movie, including what is used as the exterior shots of the lodge, does not take place at the real Wallower Lake Lodge. Bit strange. Next, Unlocking Christmas, which came out in 2020. When a mysterious key and a holiday riddle arrive on the doorsteps, Kate and Kevin embark on a Christmas romance adventure they'll never forget. Did you know, yeah, a bit of trivia, Ron Lear and Steve Lund, portraying father and son, starred together in another made for Hallmark movie, Christmas Incorporated, which we just spoke about, came out in 2015. Bit of though. During the Christmas tree lighting in the town square, Kate's boots keep changing. It's strange. Next we have A Mrs. Miracle Christmas, which came out in 2021. When a family faces loneliness and loss of faith, Gloria Merkel swoops in to renew their Christmas spirit. Did you know, yeah, a bit of trivia? Third in Hallmark's Mrs. Miracle series, after Mrs. Miracle, which came out in 2009, and Call Me Mrs. Miracle, which came out in 2010. The title character in both, played by the late Doris Roberts in the first movie, Doris Roberts' character of Mrs. Miracle says that her name is Emily Merkel. Bit of goose though, yeah? She spells out her name M-E-R-K-E-L, but that's incorrect. Per he, Doris Roberts' movies, it's spelled M E R. K L E. Next up we have Faith Heist 2021. When a charismatic preacher finds his church in financial ruin after being swindled by a shady financial advisor, he rallies members of his congregation to pull off a heist to get their money back and save the church before it's too late. I've not seen that one guys, I'm not even sure if it's a Christmas movie. If you've seen it, please let me know in the comments below. Did you know though, a bit trivia, it's filmed entirely in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Next up we have Six Degrees of Santa which came out in 2022. Christmas enthusiast Steph has created a program, Six Degrees of Santa. When Steph's own gift lands in the hands of a leading internet entrepreneur, Jason, he's convinced that the original Santa might be his soulmate. But did you know though, a bit of goose? The character portrayed by Inara Elaine is referred to as Danny in the movie. The character portrayed by Dorian Gray is shown on a cell phone in the movie to be Elliot. The character names in the end credit are listed as Shanna and Elliot respectively. Next we have Christmas Bedtime Stories which came out in 2022. Left to raise her daughter alone after her husband goes MIA and is presumed dead, Danielle starts to tell her daughter bedtime stories about her father. Did you know though, a bit of trivia, Scott Fee and Yvonne Charles are a real life television newcaster and 
meteorologist, respectively, as they portray in the movie. Bit of gusto, yeah. Col Colby introduced himself as Major Colby Ames. Throughout the movie, he was Captain's Bars. And that is our list of Steve Lund Christmas movies. Be sure to let us know what your favourite movie is down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. If you've missed any actor or actress that we, you'd like to see, let me know guys and I'll get onto it and make it a video for you. Hope you enjoyed this one. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time, goodbye.